Okay, so let's show you some of the real power that's built into the blue vat ga micron gauge, and I'm going to show you why I think it's the best one in the industry. As we go back and look at the system here, we've got it hooked up to a residential system. We've got our vacuum pump on. We've got a four port manifold set so we can hook the micron gauge up to a dedicated port. And where the beauty comes in is not necessarily on the gauge as much as it is the power of the app. So first off, we open up the BlueVac app powered by MeasureQuick. And right now, the first thing we need to do is connect a tool. So to do that, I'm going to click here and go to Gauge Manager. And I'm ready to look for a gauge. So I'm going to power up my BlueVac gauge. And you see the Bluetooth icon flashing. It's ready to find it. All I need to do is put my finger here and pull down to scan for gauges nearby. Found it. Save and connect. I'm now connected to my system and it's already reading the level of microns. Okay, let's go back and show you what we're seeing here. Here's our micron gauge. We can either read it here or we can tell that this system's already been pulled down to 3,236, 35 microns. It's also going to give us a reading of our ambient temperature and tell us our pull down rate and the saturation temperature of the water. So right now the water is boiling at 23.7 degrees Fahrenheit. We can come up here. This is where it really comes in handy to the settings options. And the first thing we can do is select a drop down and say what type of system are we working on? Comfort cooling with a brand new installation where we're probably going to have a lot more moisture to remove. Comfort cooling service. Perhaps we changed to TXV and we're just pumping down the line set. General refrigeration, ultra low temp refrigeration, or transport refrigeration, all which are going to have different types of piping, more or less intricate, and this will help us set the gauge up so that we know the amount of time we should be taking to pull the system. Since we're dealing with just a comfort cooling application, that's what we've selected. We have the ability to set our targets and our decay, so let me explain. Every HVAC system should be able to be pulled down to a minimum of 500 microns to ensure that the moisture is out of the system. On a brand new installation, you install a new dryer, you braze it all together, and then you've got to pull it down to at least 500 microns. If I wanted my target to be lower than that, I could adjust that, 200, 250, but 500 microns is where you're going to see most manufacturers say to evacuate to, uh, unless you're working on some of those mini split systems that have a tighter requ requirement. The next option here you see in red is the decay, meaning that there's certain amounts of moisture that's going to be trapped in the oil, especially in a POE system uh, or a system using POE oil, that we're not going to be able to get out with a vacuum pump alone. So we can set the decay, the decay target. So in this example, we're going to pull down to 500 when we shut the vacuum pump off. If the system climbs up to less than 1,000, we don't have a problem per se. But if it goes above 1,000, It'll let us know that we reached decay and we've exceeded decay, and it'll let us know what's going on. We can also set the time we want it to be below the target before giving us the notification, and the time below the, de the decay target in hours and minutes so that we know how long we've been able to stay as a tight, dry system. It'll show the evacuation targets on chart. I've got that toggled on, and show the decay rate targeted on the chart. Now, that might not make a lot of sense to you now, but it will once I show you. So we've got the system set up. So now let's go ahead and turn on our vacuum pump and start pulling down the vacuum or pulling down the system in a vacuum and seeing what it does. And now you can see the rate at which we're pulling down about 1.3, 1.9 per second, microns per second, and it's going to drop down. It says we're in third stage, roughing the vacuum. So we're going to let this go for a while, and let's see how long it takes to get there, and let's see what the system does as it reaches the vacuum. So now that we're back at the app, we're looking here, we see we've run about five minutes so far, and we've pulled down to 2,300 microns and we've got a pull down rate of about 6.9 microns per second. Now we're looking at the gauge view. There's other views as well, such as the chart, where you can see the blue line indicating our microns and where it's pulling down to. 
You see the red line is our maximum decay so that if we ever get above a thousand microns, an alert's going to pop up to tell us that we're not pulling down or we're sucking moisture back in. And then we have our evacuation targeting green. So we're going to let this continue to run for a little bit and we'll come back and see how the curve in the graph changes. Okay, so as the time is kept running, you can see now we're no longer in the third stage of evacuation. We're actually in the dehydrating zone, which shows us that we're removing moisture. You can see the moisture coming out of the vacuum pump, that steam, that's the water, the moisture as it boils off. Here we're looking at the gauge view, let's go back to the chart. And you can see that blue line dropping closer and closer to our target rates. We're still not there, so let's give it a little bit more time and run and see what this uh, app and what the blue back micron gauge will do for us as we're monitoring and tracking the status of our evacuation. Okay, so we've been running for a while. We're getting most of the moisture out. And now the blue back Plus Pro app is smart enough to remind you that, hey, now it's time to close that ballast, that gas ballast, so we can continue on and get the rest of the moisture out. All right, so after about 25 minutes, you can see we're in that range. We're still bobbling around a little bit. And we haven't set it, the alarm hasn't gone off yet because we haven't dropped below 500. And let me show you something else that I want to talk about. I've worked well with the folks over at Major Quick, Jim Bergman and his team for a long time. And I know that they're dedicated to educating. And this is one of my favorite features of the BlueVac app, is the help screen. Look at all the information it can give you. Help on how to perform an evacuation. Here's all the icons for stages of evacuation. Roughing, where we've got a lot of moisture present. Dehydrating, where we're removing a large point of the moisture has already been removed, but we're still dehydrating. The icon changes to finishing. So those are our three stages of evacuation. It has a lot of different help with the app, a lot of help with the BlueVac Pro help, but then down here is a whole bunch of helpful items on evacuation itself, so you can educate and study and teach yourself a little bit more about evacuation and dehydration. One other thing I want to show you here, as we exit out of the BlueVac app, and you've heard me talk about the Measure Quick, Quick app, if you don't have it, you should get it, because the Measure Quick app is going to allow you to check the performance of your system, and allow you to put in conditions and do non-invasive testing, but when I look at the toolbox, look at all the tools that are able to, what will be able to work with the Measure Quick app. The BlueVac Pro Wheel, the Testo Smart Probes, the iManifold are all going to communicate with you to help you be the best you can be in the industry. Thanks for tuning in to Toolbox Tuesday and I look forward to seeing you next time when we show another amazing tool that can help you be better at your job.